Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to add Secure Delete to the Windows context menu. We're going to do this using sdelete from sysinternals. Keep in mind when you do this and you delete a file, it is gone. Not going to the recycle bin. The file will be deleted and it will overwrite it three times so that you cannot recover it. And we can modify that three times as well and we'll show you that in a little bit. So check the video description for this link right here. And if you don't see it, you'll need to expand the description on YouTube. It only shows so many words and everything is beyond that. You gotta look for that little arrow. So click on this and then click on download now and you will get the file to your hard drive. Extract the files. Here they are. Let's extract all and click extract. Now what you have here, and you don't need everything, you have your executables and you have your registry entry. So if you're not sure which one to use, use sdelete. If you know your 64-bit, go ahead and use sdelete 64, but it's really not much faster. So what we want to do now is expand your C drive and find Windows, expand that. Let me move this over so you can see. Find System 32 right there. Decide which one of these you want to use. Once again, if you're not sure, just use sdelete. And copy it over to here. I think I already was playing around earlier, so the files there, I'm just going to overwrite it. Now, you want to do Add, Secure, Delete to Context Menu, Registry Entry. Click Yes, click Yes, click OK. Now right-click on a file, and there is Secure, Delete. Looks a little different in Windows 10, this is 7. And let's get rid of something. Let's say this is the Remove Secure, Delete, which you'll want to know about. When you change your mind later and you don't want it, you double click remove, it will take it back out. You will also need to go back to Windows System 32 and delete sdelete or sdelete 64 bit. Although at 114K, you can kind of forget about it if you want to, there's no harm. So let's find something to delete. Let's delete something right here. What do we got? Let's delete sdelete 64, I don't need it. Oh, it's in the, um, I have to get it in the folder and not in, the zipped file. So let's find this desktop S delete 64 right click secure delete gone note there's nothing in the recycle bin very very important to notice so now some of you might be thinking I don't want it anymore as I mentioned just double click and when it's done Secure Delete is gone. Another thing we can do, as mentioned, you have the ads. We can edit these registry files right here. And you're going to want to do that with Notepad. I haven't used Windows 7 in a while here. What's under Accessories? There's WordPad. Yep, 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 yep. There it is. So you want to do File, Open, Change Text Documents to All. Right there find the file in this case I'm on my desktop in the folder and open whichever one you used now that it's open look for the number three that's our default change it to f whatever you want five nine and once you've done that and five should be more than sufficient and frankly three should do the job but if you want to get a little more serious five will do it so we'll click to close it and go ahead and say save and that's it now you just double click to run it and you will now have five passes and remember now if you go up as high as like nine or ten that it's probably going to take a lot longer to delete a file as opposed to what you just saw which was almost instant so there you have it and in windows 10 you get the little red x that has that look to it and again, in the video, we show you step by step, and I'll embed this video in the article, but we show you step by step how to do just what we showed you to change it from three to five. And there you go. It's not rocket science, it's a little more complicated than just a simple double click, but not too bad. And again, make sure there's a link here on how to back up your registry. If you're going to play around with this and you haven't used the registry much, you're not comfortable with it, it's really, really easy to do. It'll only take you, this video is heading on five minutes, it should take you a minute or two to just back up your registry. If you have a problem, you can get back. Okay, cool. All right, guys.
We appreciate you watching. As always, click like, click subscribe, blah, blah, blah. See ya.